Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that would like to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid, which means for you this could resonate past, present, or future if it does not resonate. And even if it does, make sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. It's for Cancer. Okay. You saw that one was trying its best to get out of there. All right, we have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries, and we have step out of your comfort zone. Interesting energies for you guys. Uh, so somebody's definitely making you nervous, maybe a little bit hot and bothered. Let's see what's going on. Who is this person? Who are you dealing with? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your energy. Seven of Cups. You like them. Uh, you enjoy being around them, but you're a little bit confused by them. Are their actions, their behaviors? What do they want? Do they like you too? Is this going to be more? Uh, what's your next steps ahead? Seven of Cups talks about choices, decisions, maybe overthinking a little bit, maybe even like a, a dreamy or fantasy energy. And I can definitely get that here. Uh, you may have like a particular idea of what you want for the future. But you see a lot of possibilities with this person or with this situation. Let's look at your person's energy. The Magician. <laughs> no wonder you like them. They have a really good energy about them. The Magician is um, Gemini Virgo. Sometimes I can represent Scorpio as well. But the Magician is somebody who has like this ability to manifest, to create, to get things done. They're very inspiring. They can be very outgoing. They can be somebody who just you know, inspires you, you know, somebody that you see possibilities with, like somebody who's very ambitious, very dreamy, like very imaginative, but not, it's not just a fantasy that lives in their head. They're able to translate it on paper. They're actually able to get that out, start, make things happen. They, they there's, no, there's nothing that they can't do. They're not somebody who's, who's held back, you know? All right, let's see. What is the energy between you and this person? What is the energy between the two of you? What is the energy between you guys? Okay. There's a lot to say. A lot to say. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I am seeing the Knight of Wands under the deck here. So uh, no wonder that you've got this energy happening here. Because number one. You know, we do know the Knight of Wands. It's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. But the Knight of Wands is always very passionate, very attractive. You know, they could be a little bit in and out, back and forth. Can sometimes be known as a player card. I don't always get that from this. I get this as somebody who's kind of spontaneous. They're fun. They're exciting. They like to talk. They're very communicative. You know, very expressive. They're very passionate. You know, you like this exciting energy. You like being around them, like talking to them. Um... We have the magician here, which is also like a very fertile energy, right? And there's like this very strong physical attraction, desire. Like this person may have you like in your head daydreaming about them, fantasizing about them quite a lot. But very interestingly, we do have the three of swords here. The Emperor and the Four of Wands. So for some of you, and again, this is just some of you, you may be confused because maybe this person's already involved with someone. That's not for all of you. For others of you, you're just nervous because maybe you feel like you've actually found your twin flame. But for whatever reason, there may be some kind of circumstance that's keeping you and this person apart. Okay? Male or female does not matter. The Emperor represents the Divine Masculine energy. This person could be much older than you. They could be your boss or some kind of like... Uh, public figure or somebody you know respected in the community you have to be very careful about appearances there's something about this connection that does feel like forbidden love okay like i love them but i can't be with them or i can't have them or you know we, you know we're star-crossed lovers we're supposed to be together but we just can't it's like you know that the three of swords here talks about something separate the two of you now third parties are not always physical people. And if you've been here for any amount of time, you've probably heard me say that. But for my new people, a third party is not a person. It can be. And more often than not, it, is it does end up that way. Um, but it's not for everybody. A third party is any type of energy that comes between your connection. It's you, it's your person, and whatever their focus energy is. Like what, whatever is, you know, divide the two of you. They are workaholic. They 
have addictions, you know, they live a, a, another country, you know, whatever this pertains to be, that tends to be the con con constant obstacle that's taking all their time, you know, nosy Nancy next door, you know, it's who it's whoever this is, uh, whoever or whatever this is, can be person, place, thing, right? Sometimes their parties are not even romantic. Sometimes they are friends or family, co-workers, the boss, somebody who does not, who forbids this love, who keeps you guys apart. For some of you, I am getting a strong energy of somebody's father does not approve uh, with this kind of like, I'm, I'm almost getting like, they're like, you can't, here you are embracing four of wands, 11, 11, soulmate twin flame energy. You know, obviously there's this incredibly, incredibly, um, you know, magnetic connection this chemistry between you and this person but there's somebody here who's kind of watching can be kind of a controlling energy maybe it's an ex a father figure a boss right who does not want the two of you to be get together um for others of you it could be that this person is married right there is something let's look let's look a little closer at the obstacle so let's put cards down and see the obstacle Leo energy with the strength card. Somebody needing the courage to potentially move forward, to speak their heart, to speak their truth. Maybe to overcome this, this hurdle, uh, to get through it. You know, strength can come in a lot of different ways. You know, uh, vulnerability, right? Expressing your emotions. It can come through, you know, physically having the confidence, the courage to make some kind of major life decisions, changes, to overcome some kind of addiction. All right, let's see. Let us look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. So their thoughts about you. Well, I think we're done here. Not really, but you know, two of cups, they love you. Okay, point blank, they love you. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as a friend. And, and, and regardless, if you, if you identify with this connection as a twin flame or a soulmate connection, your person may feel the same way. They may not have a label for it, a name for it. They may not know the terminology. They may not know what a twin blame and a kindred spirit and a soulmate and a karmic. And, you know, they may not know what all of these specific things mean, but they definitely know that there's a soul connection between you and them. They feel you. Okay. Um, they may even share a telepathic bond with you. Okay. They see you as somebody that they could bear their heart and soul to that completes them that they feel comfortable with that they can be emotional with they can be themselves with the two of cups does not talk about just love but also friendship which is incredibly important in a relationship uh let's look at their feelings what is in their heart the queen of swords so you could have strong air energy in your chart or they could queen of swords gemini libra aquarius it's like your person's almost tries to suppress how they feel like tries to tame that you know it's like you know i'm not gonna let it take get control of me i'm almost like afraid to be vulnerable or open up queen of swords it's you know calculating energy it's it's head over hard it's trying to be logical or rational try not to be impulsive and whether you're a male or female they may feel that you are the queen of swords you're somebody who's very intellectual you know very mentally stimulating you know somebody you know who's smart witty sharp somebody who is sophisticated you know somebody who is calculating analyzing logical can be very rational and i'm seeing king of swords under here as well so they feel like you are their match like you guys are both together this way we have the emperor here uh we also have the empress taurus libra energy and king of swords so they feel like you're their perfect fit you are their person you have all the qualities that they've sought after in a partner you complete them you challenge them inspire them very sure of yourself knowing exactly who you are you're authentic their intentions with you the death card, Scorpio energy. Now don't panic. People always, you know, they always see the death card. And they're like, oh, no, it's it's over. It's done with. But the death card doesn't just talk about endings or physical death. I mean, it can in some circumstances, but very rarely does it talk about an actual death. The death card talks about an ending, but an ending that 
opens the door for something new, for a beginning, you know, transformation. And I and I know I've, I've you've probably heard me say this a million times, but just as an example to kind of make it make sense, if you were at your job for 10 years as a cashier and you got promoted to manager, you are not going to show up the next day wearing your cashier name tag. You're just not going to do it. You're going to want to, you know, you're going to want to transform. You're going to want to be recognized for how things have moved forward, how you've progressed for your achievements, for the next step. You want to be recognized as a manager. You work damn hard for that, right? You can't just be friends with somebody you want to be married to you know you have to be more than that you have to be in a physical relationship a romantic relationship something has to change they want something to transform now they may feel like there's something in their life that they have to end let's clarify this with their actions what is going on with this death card what is their actions what can you expect from this person the star so the star is aquarian energy it talks about um reunion it talks about wish fantasy but also a very dreamy energy so i do feel like two of you kind of fantasize and think a lot about each other and there is a very strong like physical attraction desire like both of you may want to have children with each other and I mean, if you're older obviously disregard that take what resonates leave what does not but it's emotional it's physical it's mental like there's this connection like you guys like two halves to the same puzzle it's the star is like you know something that you aspire for dream of hope for pray for it's a fantasy the star is a wish that comes true they want to be able to defeat something some kind of you now this monster could represent their fear or some kind of physical element that they want to overcome with the devil here i do feel like you know this is capricorn energy i do feel like this person thinks a lot about this about coming together with you ten of cups like you could be everything that they've ever wanted and more there's like um an emotional connection here like we see here like they see the potential for like complete happiness and a lot of passion a lot of chemistry a lot of physical temptation desire but it's about time and things kind of coming together we also see the hair up on here which can talk about like marriage and karmic lessons with the wheel of fortune it's like giving it time. Like things will progress. Like this is going to be. Like they can't stop thinking about what this could be. But again I feel like there's something about. Needing to come out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. A fiery climax approaches. Let us pull um, just an overall energy here. To kind of clarify a little bit further. About this person's energy. Let's clarify a little bit more. About. Advice or outcome messages what needs to be known or seen here any additional messages about the situation so there's that four of wands yet again um so yeah i feel like this is definitely a very very deep soul connection you guys may have even have shared past lives together but the four of wands talks about it talks about um, building something stable together building a life together having a home together taking that next step building security yeah, you know, and dreaming of that for the future, fighting for it, because it feels like there are obstacles, challenges that are trying to keep the two of you apart. But again, I, I do see you guys coming together. It's almost like maybe you guys haven't seen each other for a long time. Um, or like you, like you should say you share past lives together. You, you want to have children with this person for some of you. This is about coming together. This is a wish that's coming true. Something that is changing, transforming. Something does have to end, however. Could be their pride, addiction, could be a, a relationship, or some kind of some kind of person interfering that's causing conflict and drama. You know, somebody who does not want the two of you to be together, who may be jealous. Uh, but you see so much potential in this. There is some fear there that you feel like you see the op so much possibility here. But there is fear. Like, there's a lot in your mind when it comes to this connection. But you think so highly of this person and their abilities. And I feel like, you know what I really love? This is my favorite star card. I think out of all the decks that I have. And I have quite a few. I love how they have this masculine here who's depicted as the star. You know, he is strength it's like he is making it happen you know he is up for the challenge it's not just this wishy dreamy you know perfect soft image it's like i'm going to stand up and be strong and overcome whatever demons or challenges are in the way to, to fight for my wish to fight for the things that i want it shows this strength overcoming these challenges fighting for this relationship seeing this potential future both of you mutually wanting this beautiful energy so that is what I have for you.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you so much for those of you who have sent in donations. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.